Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between check and um, remind here on um, Ancient Isle 2.0. Um, this map is unique to Zotac. I think it is not a Battle.net map, or at least it's not a Battle.net sanctuary map that I've seen or I've ever played on. Off the bat, we have Remind spawning over here in the top left hand corner as the blue orc player getting an altar of storms and an orc burrow. Meanwhile, over here to the south, we have Check getting that graveyard and that crypt. So it looks like he will be going the standard M. Crypt Fiends right now. This is game 5 in the best of 5 matchup. Obviously both players have gone 2-2 two -two in this particular matchup. And now Remind going back to what he did in I believe game 2. Um, which is getting that early altar of storms. Forcing him... Um, it really depends on if Check gets that Tome of Relics and buys a Dust of Appearance right now. There is not going to be any early grunts and that Blade Master will be able to do a lot of harassing already right off the bat so I'm, I'm interested to see how this is really going to work out right now and there it is a close spawn to those trees look how close you are you spawn to those trees so um, wood is very very easy to get early on in that game as opposed to walking a full distance i've seen distances like that and it, it really does um, slow down wood gathering early on in the game right now right now we have a tome of relics and an altar of darkness being summoned by check right now along with um training an additional ghoul so check does have that tome of relics should buy that dust of appearance as he is most likely going to expect the blade master as that hero and that blade master is just about to pop out right now remind sitting at 400 uh, plenty of gold right now not quite sure if he's going to upgrade the tier two or if he's going to build a barracks at this point and he's upgrading the tier two right off the bat so remind upgrading the tier two and wow so without even getting that barracks yet so that is a bit of a surprise selling the scroll town portal pick, purchasing up the or pick, picking up the healing salve the clarity potion and using did he use that speed scroll already yeah using that speed scroll already early on to get down across the map and let's see how that's really going to work i don't know why you would use wind walk and the speed scroll at the same time as the speed scroll already gives you maximum move speed and then the wind walk would just stack on top of that. And now he's going to break wind walk right now in the base. But there is no death knight yet. So uh, right now um, it's too good of a of a surround in there. And the blade master, not quite sure what he's going to do. Blade master is going to try to take down that ogre magi by himself. That is going to be a surprise if he can try to take down that ogre magi. But a nice hit and run tactic coming in to prevent that ogre warrior from dealing damage. Meanwhile, that crypt fiend may be able to take it down and... A little bit surprised by this. The Death Knight may come in and get that death ki the kill steal off of this. And he does get the kill steal. So the Death Knight able to get that kill steal right off the bat. And the Blade Master is being forced to walk back already. Check has a very nice lead. Very, very nicely done. Ogre Warrior now getting focused down. And Check will, um, will almost get to level 2. Blade Master being forced to heal back up right now using that healing salve purchases a circlet of nobility but already that's just a really really hard hit to the army of Remind. Right now Re um, Check still trying to go out trying to deal do more creeping going after that Crypt Fiend. That Crypt Fiend taking a couple hits from the blade of that Blade Master and now back in the base right now. Blade Master still has nothing really in store or really planned. Remind um, whenever you do a quick um, tier 2 tech like this I can only only imagine that you would be trying to go for early raiders or perhaps even early um, early what's it called early uh, wind riders and if he can get those wind riders before if he can if he can get the wind riders down really really early and really surprise and um, check with them um, I don't think checks gonna ha have enough time to really tech to get to f um, to tech to get web right now blade master now ch coming in trying to finish off this particular creep camp blade master will get close to level um, two as well as it focuses that focuses down this null overseer at this point trying to um, take down this null overseer meanwhile the death knight sitting at level two going to take down the null overseers and these level four troll berserkers as well as the fiends come in dust of appearance being used to make sure that that death knight is not nearby down it goes and now a sentry ward being dropped so very nice item for check check i'm getting a little bit lucky throughout this game so far right i think right now 
Blade Master sitting at level 1. It looks like he wants to take down one unit. Is he going to be able to take down that mini skeleton? I think if he takes down that skeleton, he will get to level 2 if he tries to take it down. Not quite sure if he's going to he's gonna break Windwalk in just a second. It, yeah, coming in, trying to take down that skeleton, trying to hit that um, Death Knight, Death Knight down to 357 hit points, trying to run back right now as those as those units continue to fight back. We have um, a Sentry Ward out on the map right now and really surprised that Remind did not try to take down one of those skeletons to try to get to level 2 and get additional mana and get the win or get the critical strike. I think he really needs this right now. Right now, check now uh, finally upgrading the halls of the dead while there is already a barracks, bestiary, and spirit lodge completed. So five minutes into the game, Remind is definitely having a very very strong tech advantage and also has two heroes out. But check obviously seeing that the hero is already out, realizes that the army size is really small on Remind. Going to try to come in and push in on this base right. Right there and while Blade Master already down to uh, uh, um, down to 162 hit points and is going to lose this Voodoo Lounge, Remind in an awful lot of trouble at this point. Those burrows are also pretty um, pretty well exposed at this point. Not quite sure and what he has in store. And now those um, Orc burrows each have each of them has a single um, peon in or two two and one peon inside, trying to fight back as those. As those bros get into position, those fiends may try to focus down that um, that uh, bestiary, but it does have fortified armor right now. We have another voodoo lounge being built over here. Spirit Walker ca um, trying to cast um, Spirit Link, and now is casting Spirit Link, trying to fight back with the rest of this army right now. And Spirit Walker um, in um, not in corporal form or ethereal form, going to take a lot of damage from those fiends, and and really getting focused down. Needs to go back into corporal form really fast, but might get death coil. Down it goes. Level 3 Death Knight able to take it down, but the, and, ooh, the Death Knight may go down at 207, 165 hit points, 151 hit points. Grunt uh, being forced and check, being forced to um, use that Squirrel Town Portal to save that Death Knight. And a very, very nice play from Remind. I thought Remind was going to lose this game early, early, early on, but being for but uh, able to somehow force that Squirrel Town Portal was absolutely key and critical in, in Remind to extend this game and perhaps fight on better terms. Level two on the Blade Master right now, as that grunt is and as as that grunt is also low on hit points. Shadow Hunter needs to get that Voodoo Lounge up, and that Shadow uh, Voodoo Lounge is up now, trying to heal back those units. Death Knight continuing to do creeping away from that fight right now. Picks up a Dust of Appearance and a Rod of Necromancy. No, not quite sure what he's doing as that Death Knight is awfully low on hit points and picks up a Circuit of Nobility down to 230 hit points at this point. Right now, um, Raiders are on the map. Remind trying to do some creeping as well. We are at Halls of the Dead, but there is still no Lich being trained at this point. In addition, the Death Knight is still out of, across the map trying to move around, perhaps trying to look for a good place to creep, and the Ogre Magi goes down, Gloves of Haste being picked up, and Atoma Strength being picked up by that Blade Master as well, so that Blade Master getting some very nice items. Check, it. I'm still trying to creep out this particular creep camp. I'm going to get to level 4, it looks like, by finishing off these um, two level 4 um, Troll Berserkers. Down goes one, and one more would do it right now, but a Tome of Intelligence plus two being left behind. Down goes a Crypt Fiend, and down due to an Ensnare, and going to leave that Troll Berserker as well. No, not just straight going after these units, going after these Crypt Fiends, and these Crypt Fiends are very, very low on hit points, getting exposed very, very early. Let's see if that Blade Master will be able to take it down. No, not going to be able to take it down. Shadow Hunter going to pick up that Tome of Intelligence plus two, and get to level two as well. I don't think the Blade Master was able to take down that low hit point crit fiend. No, I don't think I do not think so. Right now we have the Shadow Hunter sitting at level two. Blade Master sitting at level two against is that level four yet? No, almost level four. Um, Death Knight. Death Knight has a potion of lesser invulnerability, has the potion of mana, and there's also a Lich in play. The Lich also has a Rod of Necromancy. So both heroes having that Rod of Necromancy early on in the game, or in, in this game right now. We have a Healing Ward being dropped by Remind in order to heal up uh, more of this damage, and we have Troll Headhunters coming in from Remind. So a little bit surprised by the Troll Headhunters. Perhaps they are there to counter the Destroyers that will eventually come in on this fight right now. Blademaster getting to level 3 on this, um, on, off of this creep camp. Very, very 
very important as the Griffin quickly takes down in that sentry ward. Units coming, trying to come to the back right now. Lich coming in from the back as well. Not quite sure where that Blade Master is going. Blade Master is picking up a potion of in lesser invulnerability, selling an item, posting up, picking up a dust of appearance, trying to make sure that there is no burrowing action coming in from those um, from those crypt fiends. Low hit point grunt trying to run to the back of the base. Ethereal form now moved back out, and now the Death Knight decides not to pursue, just wants to take down this Voodoo Lounge. Shadow Hunter picks up some additional items as that Blade Master going, trying to come in. Perhaps it will be able to get a critical strike. No, only a wind walk strike onto that Death Knight. Death Knight um, Death Knight making that Blade Master slowed right now. A nice um, nice disenchant and that um, reminds Voodoo Lounge going to fall to the focus fire from those Crypt Fiends. Stay tuned for part two of this three-part replay, it looks like, between Remind and Check here on Ancient Isle.